kalimat tadi adalah permintaan yang sederhana. Dan bentuk will you dapat dipakai dalam keadaan yang tidak resmi di antara teman-teman dan anggota keluarga. Sekarang, coba saudara ucapkan beberapa contoh sesudah Margaret. Siap? Will you come here, please? Will you wrap this parcel? Will you pass me the scissors? Will you pick the parcel up, please? Will you help me? Nah, saat ini Chris dan Iwan sudah selesai membungkus paket tadi. Mom, we finished. Oh, good. Let's see. Oh, that's fine. Now, will you take it to the post office? Your father isn't here and I'm not feeling very well. Sure. What's the matter, Mrs. Scott? I've got a cold. <gasps> Excuse me. Would you like something from the chemist? Artinya, apakah ibu memerlukan sesuatu dari apotek? Oh, Ewan, that's kind of you. Would you buy me something? Sure. Would you buy me some cough mixture and some aspirin? Artinya, apakah kamu dapat membelikan obat batuk dan aspirin? Coba dengarkan lagi. Would you buy me some cough mixture and some aspirin? Certainly. Anything else? Yes. Would you ask Bert to ring Jane and tell her I'm not feeling well? Certainly. Permintaan dengan would you sedikit lebih resmi. Tadi, Margaret bersikap sedikit lebih resmi dan sopan kepada Iwan daripada kepada Chris. Coba dengarkan lagi. Would you buy me something? Would you buy some cough mixture? Would you buy some aspirin, please? Would you make some lunch, please? Sekarang, mari kita berlatih mengubah kalimat seperti misalnya I need some cough mixture. Menjadi permintaan yang sopan. Would you buy me some cough mixture? I need artinya saya memerlukan. Masih ingatkah? Coba saudara ubah kalimat berikut seperti tadi. I need some aspirin. Coba saudara ucapkan lagi permintaan yang betul sesudah Margaret. Would you buy me some aspirin? Bagus. Nah, coba saudara lakukan latihan berikut seperti tadi. I need some medicine. Would you buy me some medicine? I need some cough mixture. Would you buy me some cough mixture? Saudara pendengar, kata-kata can dan could juga dapat dipakai untuk menyatakan permintaan. Coba dengarkan permintaan-permintaan dalam percakapan berikut. Iwan dan Chris sedang berada di kantor pos untuk mengirimkan paket kepada Helen. Could we send this parcel, please? Certainly. Can you tell me where it's going? To England. I see. Can you tell us how much it will cost, please? Well... I'll have to weigh it. Artinya, saya harus menimbangnya. Pegawai kantor pos juga akan memakai kata yang berarti timbangan, yaitu scales. I'll have to weigh it. Could you put it on the scales, please? Sure. Oh, you haven't written the name and address of the sender. The sender? Yes, the person who's sending the parcel. You have to put that on, too. Can you write it on, please? Clearly. Okay. Oh, I haven't got a pen. Can you lend me a pen, Iwan? I haven't got one. Um, 
Uh, could you lend us one, please? There's a pen over there. OK. Thanks. Now, Ewan, can you just bring it over? Sure. Mereka menuliskan alamatnya. Iwan juga ada beberapa surat yang akan dikirim ke Indonesia. Fine. Here are your stamps for the parcel. Uh, could I have some stamps for these letters too? They are going to Indonesia. Sure. Let's see. One, two, three letters to Indonesia. Coba dengarkan lagi beberapa dari permintaan tadi. Pertama-tama yang memakai kata can. Can you tell me where it's going? Can you tell us how much it will cost? Can you write the name on, please? Can you lend me a pen? Dan sekarang, beberapa ungkapan dengan kata could. Could we send this parcel, please? Could you put it on the scales, please? Could you lend us a pen, please? Could I have some stamps, please? Saudara pendengar, ungkapan-ungkapan yang memakai could agak menyatakan keraguan-raguan dan lebih sopan daripada yang memakai can. Nah, coba saudara ulangi permintaan-permintaan berikut. Siap? Can you tell me where it's going? Can you tell us how much it'll cost? Can you write the name on, please? Can you lend me a pen? Could we send this parcel, please? Could you put it on the scales, please? Could you lend us a pen, please? Could I have some stamps, please? Baiklah, saudara pendengar. 